After the aquifer, we certainly hadn't expected to see Kane again, let alone here. She wanted the same thing we did. The data drive on Deimos. Better yet, she knew where it was. It was moved from the safe house to a CIA black station in the quarantine zone. Did she say why Gojulon was trying to kill her? It wasn't Gojulon. Julon was a puppet of Deimos, and Deimos wanted Kane dead. Guess he didn't like her very much. Did you trust her? No, not yet. Our guard was up, but if she could get us to the black station, it was worth a shot. The Singapore quarantine zone. We never thought we'd be back here. Bad memories? You know damn well it certainly wasn't good ones, Doc. The place was a living, breathing reminder of the incident five years ago. We'd be in and out quick. We weren't staying any longer than we had to. Find out who this Deimos asshole was and get the hell out of Dodge. Kane said the data drive on Deimos was encrypted and separated into two pieces. We needed both to access the drive. Like a lock and key. The lock, I assume, was at the Black Station. Where was the key? The key. That was down by the docks. Undead Central. Heavy hostiles. We brought a DNI equipped micro missile launcher. Couldn't be too careful. That and command had prepped a drone strike to wipe out most of the dock. But with the high winds from the incoming superstorm, well, no guarantees it'd work. We grabbed our spike anchors in case we needed to be nailed down. After the docks, our rendezvous with Kane was set for an abandoned police station. Hendricks took point. More vultures. Preying on the weak. Since the fall of the Immortals, they'd inherited all of Singapore. Turned the place into some twisted version of the Wild West. After the events at the safe house, we caught their attention. They weren't exactly thrilled with us on their turf, and were taking it out on the locals to find us. Why didn't you step in? You could have saved them. Calculated risks. We needed to stay quiet and lay low. But there's always a chance. Isn't there? Chance is a billion-sided die. You like the odds of that? If they didn't die today, they'd die tomorrow. If not tomorrow, the day after. One way or another, death was coming for all of us. Nobody was getting out alive. If we tried to save them, it could be our necks in those collars. We weren't there to save two people. We were there to save all the rest of us. We needed to get to the Black Station raising as little alarm as possible. The last thing we needed were the dead and vultures after our throats. Turns out the odds were already stacked against us. Picking up, the superstorm could hit at any moment. Good thing we grabbed those spike anchors. We were gonna need them.
them has to wait on the drone strike. Once it did its part, we'd move in. The missiles were ineffective. The wind too strong. And... The winds were picking up. The superstorm would hit at any moment. Good thing we grabbed those spike anchors. We were gonna need them. on the drone strike. Once it did its part, we'd move in. The missiles weren't effective. The wind too strong. And now that ocean liner looked like it was about to rip free. That thing would pulverize the dock, taking the data drive with it. Hendrix said, fuck it. We were built to kill the dead. No reason to switch it up now.
We secured the first part of the drive and uploaded the information to Kane. Hendricks moved to sweep the wheelhouse. The howling wind told us we had to hit it fast and quick. We'd been set to rendezvous at an abandoned police station, but we were off route. We cut through the flooded subway to save time. With the dead cleared out, we moved toward our rendezvous. Turns out we weren't the only living things in there. A vulture got the drop on us, determined to reduce us to scrap metal. He'd hit a big payday with us cornered. You were a payday to him? How so? We were dead killers. You break us down to spare parts, you can fetch a pretty penny on the black market. But you were there to fight the dead. You are an ally. Maybe in 2070, 
when we were the saviors of mankind. By 2075, everybody wanted a piece of us. This guy would have gotten his share, too. But Kane did her part to make sure that didn't happen. She was well trained. Was she CIA? Winslow Accord? She was just someone who was always in the right place, at the right time. Before we could move on the Black Station, we had other problems. What had gone wrong? We hadn't taken the scavengers into account. They'd figured out they had dead killers in their midst. Kane told us they had a comms relay ahead. If we scramble them, it could lead the vultures away from the Black Station, at least long enough for us to get what we needed. So much for maintaining a low profile, I suppose. What did I tell you? The thing about dead killers is there's always a plan B. You don't create the problems, just the solutions. You adapt to what's thrown at you. Adapt or die. Yeah. Adapt or die. We plan to regroup with Kane outside of Chinatown. With their comms scrambled, we had one less nuisance to deal with at the Black Station. Now to get the drive and get the hell out of this shithole. You couldn't take being here, could you? You felt haunted coming back to this city. The feeling had latched onto me at the safe house. Like I was being watched. Something had their eyes on me. Something? Not someone? No, I just... I felt something pulling me, guiding me. I couldn't shake it. Our rendezvous with Kane was just ahead. By the time we rendezvoused with Kane, the dead were crawling all over the street. What was Kane's plan? Hit him in the gullet, then bag and tag. Gotta admit, the girl wasn't afraid of a fight. She seemed to welcome it. Relish it. Like yourself? Like a berserker. Like a dead killer.
What did you find in the Black Station? Slaughtered CIA staff. We weren't the only ones looking for the data drives. It was a gruesome scene. Kane quickly assembled the drive. What did you learn? Did you find the information on Deimos? We found a dossier. A diary, really. A living testament of what happened 15 years ago, and in the years since. It explained Project Corvus, a CIA mind control experiment. These scientists had combined two ancient biochemical compounds, Nova-6 and something called Element-115. They fused them together, created a chemical cocktail, and injected it through their test subject's DNI. They wanted to control them. Control them? Those corpses, below coalescence in Project Corvus, they weren't patients. They were prisoners, the criminally insane. The scientists believed they could make them well again, make people better. But instead, they opened the gateway. A gateway to Malum. It's another dimension filled with absolute evil. It sounds crazy even saying it now, but they opened it not realizing what they'd done and, and they let him through. Deimos. Deimos, demigod of dread and terror. He caused the Coalescence disaster, unleashed 6115 upon the world, creating the undead that roamed the Earth. There were details on Taylor's team. They... they... they were working for Deimos. Helped him trigger Armageddon. There was also other information on his sister, Dolos. Demigoddess of trickery and deception. Deimos, he... he didn't like her very much. And the researcher? Did he have a name? Who wrote this document? Yes, it was... Uh, wait... Holy shit... Dr. Salim... It said Dr. Salim... It was you! You wrote the dossier on Deimos! You were the man behind Project Corvus!